Late June, early July, 1992, all the way up to Halloween, October 31st of 1992, we're going to be talking about tacos and restaurants. The years go by, but the memory stays. And those were the good old days. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for coming down, Mary Lane. With me. Let me take you back and tell you a story about Dockos, about the radio war. So, uh, you know, wash the dishes back in the day, Dockos. We, uh, us dishwashers back here, uh, you know, basically were just boring. You really didn't do much of anything, you know, other than wash dishes, and you really didn't have no other form of entertainment except for Mark coming back every now and again, slamming doors, getting mad, whatever he was doing, because uh, he had a bunch of orders or whatever, and uh, waitresses would come back to smoke or whatever, so we wouldn't have anything to do. But I brought in a radio. Uh, and uh, we, used, we used to listen to Rock 107, uh, WRQK out of Canton, Ohio. We used to listen to that radio station and uh, got to the point where uh, WN, I think it was WNCX. I could be wrong on that radio station. Uh, my memory serves me wrong on the actual call letters of the actual radio station. But they used to have Howard Stern back in the day uh, before Howard moved on to uh, uh, Sirius XM Radio is where he is now. So this is like, you know, back in, you know, like, you know, 92 to uh, 97 area. So he was still uh, on regular radio. Uh, so uh, we would, uh, I would listen to Howard. And when Doc would come in and do his pies and his cobblers and stuff like that on Monday, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, he would come in and do those. And he would say, oh, listen to Howard Stern, Howard Stern, ain't nothing but an idiot. He's a goof, he's a jackass, blah, blah, blah. You listen to that stuff. So Doc would always turn it, when I was when I'd go out to get dishes, he always turned it to like Bob and Tom, which Bob and Tom was on uh, channel uh, or uh, radio station. I think it was ninety seven point five W O N E. They he, they were on uh, that station back in the day, and uh, they were on during the morning. And Doc used to switch it to Bob and Tom. He's like, "Don't turn that radio. I don't want that jackass on there." I'm like, "Doc, this is my radio." He goes, "But it's my restaurant." He goes, "I'll throw that radio right down the dumpster." So. Of course, I had listened to Bob and Tom, which they're they're okay, but Howard Stern was absolutely funny with all the stuff that he had going on back in the day. Uh, Backside Boys, uh, uh, the funny skits and stuff that he used to do, and Daniel Carver, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, movie reviews, stuff like that. Daniel Carver, the KKK movie reviews, stuff like that. Stuff is stupid stuff, but it was absolutely hilarious. But uh, needless to say, whenever Doc got uh, involved... Uh, and listening to uh, what I brought in a couple CDs of Jackie Martin, which was joke man Jackie Martin used to be on Howard Stern, and uh, Doc got to listen to Jackie Martin, and he just wanted me to continuously play Jackie Martin's CDs so he could sit there and laugh at these jokes and stuff. So that's how I was able to uh, transition away from the whole Bob and Tom thing, which, like I said, really wasn't my cup of tea. I'd rather be Howard Stern main than. Uh, than Bob and Tom, because to me, Bob and Tom weren't as funny as Howard Stern was. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the radio war, uh, where me and Doc was battling back and forth between Bob and Tom and Howard Stern. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.